Hello, good day. My name is Stephen Jones. I'm the general manager for the SAP business here at AWS. I'm uh, excited to welcome you to a couple of uh, videos here we're working on with a partner. Uh, I'd like to actually introduce Sergey from LeverX. Uh, Sergey, could you maybe introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about uh, LeverX, please? Sure, Steve. Uh, thank you for, for the short introduction. Uh, my name is Sergey Valenda, and I'm a leading uh, engineering department responsible for cloud and innovative solutions development at LeverX. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be here and represent LeverX as a top tier uh, AWS and SAP partner and uh, present one of our use cases uh, and uh, discuss more about our solution. That's awesome. Thank you for, uh, for coming. I know it's, uh, you actually came quite a ways. So. Awesome. Well, let's dive in. Um, look, first, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what we're talking about today, which is the, uh, uh, the, the ability to actually leverage AWS services to build uh, generative AI solutions, right? There's a lot of talk today in the industry uh, around generative AI, and uh, one of the hardest things to do is to get to a place where you can actually build something useful for customers. And we're excited that LeverX has actually been uh, working on this, uh, leading uh, actually in kind of the forefront of some of that with, with some of our customers. So first, before we kind of get into the specific solution a little bit, uh, I want to talk about uh, the basic building blocks and how AWS thinks about uh, really the generative AI space, right? So uh, this space is uh, comprised of a lot of different components, but we see primarily three different uh, layers to this. First, on the infrastructure layer, um, AWS actually builds a lot of purpose-built uh, infrastructure or instances that enable uh, large and scalable generative AI use cases, right? From everything from uh, NVIDIA-based uh, GPU instances to AWS custom, uh, custom chip-based instances, uh, also known as Trainium and Inferentia. And then at the middle of the stack, we actually have a very robust uh, and scalable service called Amazon Bedrock. And what's in Amazon Bedrock actually is um, the ability to actually leverage uh, a lot of different uh, third-party large language models. Uh, think of Anthropic uh, or like Amazon, uh, our own LLM called Amazon Titan, right? But uh, beyond just getting access or being able to leverage different uh, large language models, um, we, we want to help customers who envision, you know, using uh, generative AI responsibly, be able to implement uh, uh, guardrails and other uh, critical functionality that allow them to control access um, and ensure that they're, they're using generative AI responsibly. And then uh, at the top, uh, AWS has actually built a number of applications to abstract a lot of the heavy lifting that usually goes into building these complex applications. Uh, for example, we have QDeveloper um, and QBusiness and whatnot. Um, and then, uh, you know, especially in the SAP space, uh, it's important to be able to uh, program uh, against the SAP stack in a, in a, in a, in a manner that is uh, well known and adheres to the standards. And so we've been working for a long time with SAP, um, especially in their BTP solution. And uh, more recently, we actually announced the availability of, again, Amazon Bedrock and access to the LLMs within the Generative AI Hub. And this is just one of the many services that, develop, that is available through, for example, the uh, SDK for SAP ABAP that we built. And so uh, I'm going to turn it over a little bit here to uh, Sergey to talk a little bit about uh, the use case. So maybe you could tell me um, what, what was the customer problem you were trying to solve mm -hmm. and uh, kind of how, how did you go about uh, implementing something like that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, thank you for the question. So first of all, I wanted to mention that uh, at Leverix, we are as a top tier SAP partner, mm -hmm. we are doing a lot of implementations and consultants, consultant in the uh, SAP area and also doing uh, and implementing a lot of cloud software. Uh, and uh, this was actually um, kind of a use case that we received out of a series of design thinking workshops we did with our customers, partners and so on over the last year. And there was one interesting thing that was confirmed by uh, several uh, customers and even partners from different uh, manufacturing uh, and uh, retail and transportation areas. Interesting. Everyone was searching for some sort of solution uh, which will be providing uh, like a very easy chat-like interface to all of the on-premise information that currently mm -hmm. storing uh, inside of their landscapes and not typical information like Word documents or PDF files and so on, but also information like CAD files, 
like, for example, um, audio files, application logs, PowerPoint presentations, and so on and so forth. So the absence of such kind of me mechanism and such kind of uh, solution currently results in operations uh, in, in an inefficiency in operations and also results in some cost uh, issues. It sounds like uh, customers are wanting to provide access to, I would say, maybe more of the non-traditional types of, of files or, or application files, right? Exactly. That you would really think about. Exactly. So, for example, typical typical card engineer in the manufacturing area spends additional time when uh, he or she is not able to find a required CAD model mm -hmm. that can be used as a reference when designing a new model. So, and this is really the issue. So, if uh, it will be possible to find such kind of file and use as a reference to create a new kind of model, then it will save significant amount of time and money in this area. And this is how we used actually uh, Amazon Bedrock together with uh, SAP Generative AI Hub and the uh, HANA Cloud Vector Engine. And we built a solution that we call an Intelligent Assistant for Unstructured Data that combines all of the customer information together and provide this kind of digital assistant type of AI interface that customers can use to easily navigate through repositories of on-premise data, find required information, and even instruct uh, the available insights out of, out of this unstructured information. Boy, that sounds awesome. I'm, I'm eager to kind of see the kind of the solution and the architecture behind this. It sounds really interesting. And so I, I would say uh, thank you, Sergey. That's a great introduction. And uh, for, yous, I, I, for you uh, that are watching this, I, I welcome you to look at the second video in the series where we're going to actually dive deep in the technical architecture of the solution. So please stay tuned. Thank you.